choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other thing, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Because that goal will serve to organize and measure the best of our energies and skills. After the successful launch of AS-203, NASA was quickly approaching their next launch date for the mission AS-202. This will be the shortest gap between launches in the entirety of the Apollo program at only a month and a half gap. This would give rise to unique difficulties that NASA was prepared to take on. AS-202 would be the third test flight of the Apollo program and was a key step in making the Saturn 1B rocket crew ready. This was intended to be the last test flight before the first scheduled manned flight of the Apollo program, AS-204, better known as Apollo 1. NASA was eager to get the Saturn 1B tested as quickly as possible so they can beat the Russians and get a man on the moon before the Soviets. In order to do this, NASA had to knock out all the problems that they had faced in their first launch, AS-201. To do this, they would build a new Saturn 1B launch vehicle and rework the command module and service module. Unlike AS-201 launch, this new spacecraft designated CSM-011 would be fully equipped with everything but the crew. It would be an unmanned flight controlled by various sensors placed around the rocket. AS-202 would also be outfitted with four cameras to observe the flight from the rocket's point of view. After a few delays, the rocket was ready to be launched, and a date was set for August 25th, 1966. AS-202 was planned to be a full dress rehearsal of what would be AS-204. This launch had a planned flight time of 93 minutes, in which it would perform all of the tests required to make the Saturn 1B rocket crew ready. This flight would test the structural integrity of the rocket, demonstrate all stages of separation, verify systems operations, and finally test the heat shield on re-entry. The first parts of the AS-202 launch vehicle arrived at Cape Kennedy on January 31st, 1966. It was the second stage of the rocket, the S-4B. Later that week, the first stage would show up at launch site, and the Saturn 1B rocket was erected on March 4th, 1966. The AS-202 spacecraft, CSM-011, arrived in April and instantly began brutal testing. When testing concluded, CSM-011 was placed atop the AS-202 launch vehicle, and the rocket was ready for takeoff. At 11.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, on August 25th, 1966, the countdown began with a launch time set for 12.30 p.m. The launch was delayed for 45 minutes due to multiple computer issues and the threat of Hurricane Faith hitting one of the tracking stations. AS-202 would finally take off at 1.15 Eastern Standard Time on February 25th, 1966. Two minutes and 23.47 seconds after launch, the engines in the first stage would shut down. It was traveling 21 meters per second faster than planned, reaching a height of 97.2 kilometers. The second stage fired, and the rocket continued on its ballistic arch, and would reach a height of 222 kilometers before separating with the CSM. The S-4B stage would continue to conduct structural tests, as it would reach a height of 269 kilometers above the Earth before later burning up in the Earth's atmosphere. This was all monitored by the Antigua tracking station by TV cameras placed inside the S-4B stage. When the S-4B stage burned up, the Antigua tracking station was forced to shut down due to Hurricane Faith hitting it. When the CSM reached its peak height, or apogee, it turned its nose towards the Earth and conducted several temperature tests. As the spacecraft began to descend back to Earth, it conducted a quick 9 second burn to test the system's rapid restart capabilities, then the command and service modules separated and the spacecraft prepared for re-entry. The command module would perform a double skip re-entry where it would drop in altitude then rise up again before finally falling back to Earth. During re-entry, the heat shield was tested and calculations showed that it reached temperatures up to 1500 degrees Celsius. The parachutes then deployed, and the CM-011 capsule would splash down in the middle of the Pacific, 380 kilometers away from the planned splashdown point. 
The capsule was recovered by USS Hornet and was transported back to the U.S., achieving all of its goals and proving that the Saturn 1B rocket is crew ready.